Mobile Geek's coverage of MWC15 is powered by Asus. So just launched here at Mobile World Congress uh, 2015 at the Lenovo booth here at the Mix 300. This is the follow-on to the Lenovo Mix 2, which you'll know from my site. I have one and I've used it for uh, at least a year now, actually. So what they've done is they've just slightly moved it a little bit down in, in price point here. So you've got an 8-inch Windows 8 tablet at $149. 2 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of SSD. So this is not a 116 Windows 8 tablet. Uh, 1280 by uh, 800 screen you can get it in a 64 gig SSD version as well but it's a fairly basic specification all round there's a, a micro SD slot there and we've got on the top just the USB 2 and headphone ports there uh, so there's no HDMI so you won't be connecting this up to your to your big screen on the back we've got a camera which is a 5 meg uh, camera and then on the front there's a 2 megapixel camera as well so for $159 sorry $149 you're getting the 32 gigs of RAM you're getting the sorry the 32 gigs of SSD the the 2 gigs of RAM you're also getting a 17 watt hour battery which is actually pretty good and if you have a look at the battery port obviously this device has been used quite a bit and the battery life ranges from seven to ten and a half hours there and that's uh, active use there's the uh, connected standby figures ignore those on a test device because uh, their apps will probably have wrecked those cs figures but that's really nice to see a 17 and a half watt or 17.3 watt hour battery inside this low cost windows 8 tablet so it's the Bay Trail T quad core platform, 1.33 gigahertz nominal, up to 1.8 uh, gigahertz uh, turbo on that. This one's got the 3735F CPU. So once again, that's the Lenovo Mix uh, 300 just launched here at uh, Mobile World Congress 2015. My name's Chippy for Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching. Mobile Geeks coverage of MWC15 is powered by Asus.